This question comes from uh, Antoine. I'm Antoine Green. I'm 27 years old. I'm a member of uh, Generation Engage here in Richmond. And uh, my question uh, is, uh, we are focusing on uh, teenage literacy as it relates to finding a job and further educational opportunities. Uh, do you think the president tonight should address uh, the educational gap, uh, both between uh, this nation and others, and also among classes here at home? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I want you to repeat the last part of that question if you could, so we can hear it more clearly here. Okay, do you think the president should address the educational gap both between this nation and others and among the classes here in Auburn? Okay, thank you very much, Richmond. I think the question had to do with teen literacy and what the president might or what he should speak about this, e this evening. Well, you're talking about an area that uh, uh, Bush has been very good at uh, on. Uh, the No Child Left Behind Act uh, stirred a lot of controversy uh, some years ago, and, and a lot of teachers didn't like it, and they thought it would be too much uh, accountability. But uh, it has caught on. He should address it, and he should call for an expansion of it, because uh, that really gets to the heart of the problem of uh, uh, American education, and that is uh, uh, stimulating uh, the the, the professionalism of teachers and guaranteeing uh, particularly uh, poor and disadvantaged students with good teaching and good schools. And this No Child Left Behind, which I confess was a liberal idea uh, pressed uh, many years ago, was picked up and pushed and it should be treated tonight in the, uh, uh, in the State of the Union and it should be one of those bipartisan things that uh, uh, can happen in this administration. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. S Mr. Sorensen, would you like to respond? First, I believe I heard Antoine say that he was engaged in uh, teaching uh, disadvantaged children literacy, and I hope he will continue to do that because that's the way it's going to be done, mm -hmm. child by child, and not wait for a lot of uh, federal programs. No child left behind originally was bipartisan. Ted Kennedy was the senator who uh, uh, joined in support of it. But he and uh, most of the education administrators around the country have been disappointed that the funding has not come to support the mandates that have been imposed on state and local uh, school systems by uh, No Child Left Behind. And there's nothing worse than uh, raising expectations and increasing demands and then not providing the resources to carry it out. Thank you very much. I'd like to go back to Richmond now. Antoine, can you please tell our audiences uh, the type of work that you do in uh, reference to Mr. Sorensen's comment? Well, Jason, actually, uh, we were just referring to pretty much what, the, what Generation Engage is doing here in Richmond, um, working with some partner organizations like the Richmond Career Advancement Center uh, to um, uh, work with teenagers as far as getting them uh, ready um, as far as literacy goes, the job market and that sort of thing. It was more of a general statement than uh, I think I think uh, I think specific. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.